Hey, what's up guys? Matt here from Motor King Madness. So today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, replace a uh, Paul Yaffe license plate frame on a CBO. So, as you can see, this is your stock license plate frame. We're going to remove all that and we're going to set up the Paul Yaffe uh, license plate frame. Alright, let's get to it. So this is the stock uh, license plate frame and light. You can see it's pretty boring. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna start off by removing these two bolts here. And that's the very first stage so we can work on getting that light off. Next, we gotta take off a 7 16th nut right on top of that little flap there. Once we remove that nut, then we take that cover off and there is a connector for the uh, the tail light here. I mean for the license plate light. We have to disconnect and then we can remove the whole assembly. So we're going to remove that 7 16th. Here's the cover, so it just hooks into the back of um, the mounting bolt there for the stock one. So, and then you got a 7 16 Now we got to disconnect this connector. All right, that's disconnected. Now we got a. This is a T25 torque bit. That we're going to use to remove the two factory bolts. Be careful not to drop your existing license plate frame. And you got to watch it. There's your connectors got to feed through a hole. Come on. And there it is. So you get, see I gotta be very careful because with this being the CVO, mine's match painted to the bike in case I wanna switch it back. You know, if I were to sell it or something and I wanna switch it back and keep my old, my new Paul Yaffe license plate frame, then I could do that. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this aside for now. So now with the, uh, with the existing um, license plate frame off. These two bolt threads here have to get drilled out with a quarter inch drill bit because we have to make room because uh, the Paul Yappy is gonna use its own bolts uh, to screw into the back of the new frame. So next, um, I did the the putting of the license plate in. You gotta put your, your license plate in your frame to, before you mount it on the bike. So here's your frame. You take off these 10 screws here and you put your frame in there. Now you actually have to cut your frame, your license plate frame in the upper corner here to allow for this wire not to rub on it. So uh, just cut off the very top corner of your, your frame. You might have to keep cutting until you can get in here. And then after that, you'll fasten all of the, the uh, wire, I mean all of the, the bolts, the little screws back into your frame. 
that way it'll be ready to be installed onto the bike so now that we got that done now we got a little pad here right this is for so you don't scratch the the paint on your CBO. So we'll just pop that on like that. All right, now she's ready to install on the bike. So now next, what we got to do is we got to feed the new wire through the hole here. Just like how we did to get it out. So we'll feed that through there. And then we gotta get the bolts, the new bolts, that we're gonna fasten it from the inside with. So let's put that on. Now the new bolts that went through the the uh, the frame here for the back for this mount, it's a 10 millimeter to go through now. I'm wearing gloves because it gets awfully dirty in there. I'm just hand tightening it right now. Now with my little ratchet, we are going to tighten it. Now all we have to do is uh, connect the, the new wiring to the, the factory wiring on the bike, put that cover back on, and she'll be ready to go. So this is what it looks like right now, and it's a pretty clean install. And there you have it folks, that is a nice uh, license, plate plate, license plate frame, um, it is the Paul Yaffe's Stealth 3 license plate um, from BaggerNation.com. So I hope you guys like today's install. Um, as you can see, it makes for a really clean, really clean, clean looking uh, rear fascia there on the bike. So yeah, I will go ahead and uh, I'll put the part number in the description. In case you guys are interested and the website to get it from there was like 180 bucks or something like that 189 dollars so all right so yeah so this is done for now um stay tuned next weekend we're going racing uh with the the breakout the cbo uh quarter mile drag racing so uh stay tuned for that um if you like my videos and everything like that go ahead and subscribe hit that like button on this video uh, turn your notification bell on. I got several projects. I got the 2019 Rogue Glide. I've got the CBO Breakout. I've got a Raptor and a Super Duty that we're going to be doing builds here in the near future. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Hi, Lex.